Coifin offers a comprehensive selection of economic indicators that you can explore in order to manage your portfolio. Hi, I'm Dean from Pervasives, where we publish sector and industry economic data. You can learn more at pervasives.com. So today I'm just going to explore the economic data capabilities of Coifin, which is pretty advanced. So the first stop you want to go to is the market dashboards, not your own dashboards, but the built-in dashboards made by Coifin, which is revolves around economics. So the first one, let me just take off the labels there. The first one is the equity world equity indices. So you have the Americas, Europe, uh, Middle East, Africa, Asia Pacific. And you have the indexes of all these, the major stock exchanges in those regions. You have a, a little performance ranking down at the bottom, which is great. And each, each of these dashboards, when you update one of them, it updates uh, below as well. If you look at the one year, you can see the chart and the little performance table. What you can do is you can select and select a whole continent like so, or you can add as you wish to the chart. Now you have world equity indices and then you have a countries list. This is slightly different, although at first it may not seem so different. The reason is the countries list is a selection of country ETFs, which are different from the equity indices, which represent, for example, the top. For example, if we go back to the France, CAC 40 is the 40th biggest equity listed on the Euronext Paris Stock Exchange, which doesn't represent the whole uh, equities listed in France. In the countries, you have the France ETF right here, which includes more smaller market cap companies, but also includes the currency. So because France is in Europe, it includes exposure to the euro. If you go, for example, to Poland, you'll have exposure to Polish, a, ba a basket of Polish equity listed on the Warsaw Stock Exchange, but also you have exposure to the Polish Zloty. So that's the main difference. If you go to the US sectors, you'll have a list of uh, the main sectors here. These are all the ETFs where you can take a position in. And then you have a list of team industries, for example, solar, internet, biotech. This list is not exhaustive. I know there's much more than that in terms of ETFs you can choose for industry specific in the US. You have a factor analysis, which is pretty good as well. Um, it lists teams, for example, uh, momentum growth, low volatility, value, small cap, you have it all. It, it's pretty useful as well when you want to see a different dimension in what's going on in the last six months. For example, last year, uh, you can see small cap has been outperforming and low volatility has been underperforming. Global yields, you have, if you're in, into fixed income, you have all your treasury bonds and for all different geographies. Recent IPOs, I don't really use that one that much. Currencies, again, I really enjoy the global yield matrix they've put here, where you can see the, the currency on its own compare to another the other basket of currencies instead of having a, a list of you know the major crosses and the exotic crosses and um, this little table is pretty useful and then you can obviously change the year for example the Norwegian krona against the Japanese yen I, I wouldn't have been able to know that without uh, having to look at this table it's better than just scrolling all the currency pairs World economics, a little dashboard. Again, it's pretty simple. I, I, I'm sure Ecofin will develop on that idea, but it's basically the main, you know, metrics such as GDP, employment, CPI, commodities. You have all your main 
groups of commodities, energy, metals, agriculture. Corporate credit, very interesting. The global yield, it's the treasury bonds, but this one is the corporate bonds. You have a lot of um, corporate bonds, and it's not just in the US. You have European emerging markets, USD, US dollar denominated emerging markets, corporate bonds. Then you have your fixed income factors. These are, again, ETFs, which are team based in the fixed income space. So you have US agencies, for example, US tips, municipal, mortgage backed, MBS bonds. And at the end, you have your yield curves, which again, it's pretty nice to have this. So you have, for example, if you don't know about it, uh, the yield curve is, for example, the, the, the five year versus the 10 year, uh, and there's your ratio. And over time, you can see what is the relationship between a short-term bond and a long-term bond, and it's interpreted in different ways by different players. You can go further. You can create your own dashboards. So if I go to my dashboards, this is a little dashboard I've created. So if I move this around, there is the PMIs, uh, the list of PMIs for all the countries. So you have Europe, Asia, Americas, Middle East, Africa, and there's the latest PMI, which if you hover over should give you, yeah, from April 30th. And then you have the charts here. So if I remove this, you can see the chart. And then at the bottom, I've included a, a market scatter. So for example, here you can see the relationship. So on the y-axis, you have the three months change and the x-axis, you have the PMI itself. So anything above 50 is growing. As you can see, you can see the outliers. For example, the Denmark PMI is blowing up at 72 on a three month basis. So if you hover over, you can see, yeah, it makes sense. In the last three months, the PMI has been blowing up. This is a useful way to see not only which ones are on the highest scale, but which ones are moving, have momentum, have relative change in a recent, recent period of time. The other thing that you can get from Coifin is in the analytics, you have an economic calendar. You can choose a date, for example, today's date is 21st. You can look at the next three days or week and then you can filter by country. For example, if I filter by Mexico, I'll see the economic releases coming from Mexico. And you can see the consensus and the previous. So if I click on it, you have the actual uh, consensus and previous uh, data points, which is pretty good. And then you have the option to open that graph directly within Coifin. Another thing, if I go back to my uh, dashboards that I did, you can do an import export dashboard, which I've geeked out. What I did was I collected all the, well, a sample, but I, I can build on it, imports of textile apparel imports. So here you have the countries, this shouldn't be there. So you have countries, Japan, United States, Australia, India. What's great is, so they call it last price, but basically it's the last data point. What you can do is you can have the percentage changes. So for example, in the last six months, the United Kingdom apparel imports went up 160%. Same with India, it went down 90%. So you can see, actually, no, forget that this is yearly, so don't mind that data point. But for the other ones that are monthly, you can see that um, you can basically have a dashboard that shows you world trade happening as we speak. Same with the export down below. No, this is the imports as well. But you, yeah, the, the idea I had was to put exports down below for the same type. So textile apparel imports. And you would have the percentage changes and see the trade going on real time. 
The last thing I want to show you is the advanced search. So if you click on the search bar, then you go here and you click try advanced search. What you do is you go to economic, you go show all countries. We're going to do Mexico, apply search filter. Now you see we have 33 pages. Okay. These are all indicators you can use in your dashboards. Very, very powerful. And we're just looking at Mexico here. So I imagine the potential with all these countries. And let's say I don't want to go through all the pages. So what I'm going to do is you can search excluding the following words. We're basically using advanced filtering here. So because I know most countries' economic data points are related to import and exports. I'm just going to remove these two words. Okay, I've removed the word imports and exports. And now you can see we've narrow, narrowed it down to just three pages. So these are your major economic uh, data points, which you can find on places like tradingeconomics.com, which is a great website, by the way. So yeah, you can go through all this, build a, some, some kind of dashboard, for example, Mexico Money Supply M2. There you go. Don't forget to use the advanced search feature for your economic data points. And with Coifin, you can build advanced economic dashboards. So what can Pervasives do for you? Get sector and industry short-term economic data that we collect thousands of unstructured data that we compile and process so you can get what matters. Go to pervasives.com today and explore which industries and sectors are growing or contracting.